Almost 180 people will lose their jobs at the University of Akron in the coming weeks. That decision made final by the university's board of trustees today. It says the cuts are needed to remain financially stable. News 5's Olivia Fecto learned many at the university are now anxiously waiting to hear whether they will be the ones to be let go. It's a very sad day for the University of Akron. Katie Stoinoff directs the freshman composition program at the University of Akron. I was aware that it was going to happen. Obviously, we've been in negotiations, so it, it was not um, a secret or surprise. But Still, as chief negotiator for the Akron AAUP, the union representing many full-time faculty at the school, she's worried about what's to come. To um, lay off full-time faculty, especially tenured faculty, is, is a rarity, and when it happens, um, it, it's significant and it is going to have serious impact on the university and, uh, and on students um, going forward. The university's trustees voted Wednesday to cut 178 positions. The expected total savings, $16.4 million. Unfortunately, the considerable sacrifices already made by our employees are insufficient to design a budget that will sustain the University of Akron under the conditions that we now face. Those conditions, the university says, include reduced funding from the state, as well as the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. We don't like doing this. This is just a difficult situation to, uh, to, to, to uh, take on, but it's absolutely necessary in order to continue that legacy. Katie Stoinoff says the professor's union understands the university has financial concerns, but she's worried about what may happen going forward with the potential for academic programs to be affected and declining student enrollment. And sometimes um, when, when you dig too deep, frankly, you know, you hit the bone and then you do have these kind of um, vicious cycle things that can happen. Olivia Fecto, News 5.